Hey, Virgo, this is Nikki. How are you all doing this fine Sunday? I hope that you all had a beautiful weekend. So we're going to um, get started on your mediumship reading today. Let's try this mediumship reading for Virgo. What do they need to hear? We have the Three of Cups. Somebody living there, orange trees or like a, a pasture, like a pumpkin patch or something like that. Got the death card. It's like you're shorter than two other people in your family or the people you hang around with. You're one of the shortest. Uh, they possibly call you shorty, short stuff. Um, I don't know. I'm going to shorten up, shortening, shortening bread, like that song. Mama loves shortening, shortening, shortening. Maybe this is a something you want to do, maybe a bakery, okay? Um, build, like building your brand, um, possibly own your own bakery or own your own shop or something that you're making yourself. It could be something uh, food-wise or I'm hearing perishables. Maybe you're, you're shipping out cheesecakes or shipping out some kind of pastries, building your own home. Uh, a builder in construction as well. Maybe you want a boob job, okay? Uh, maybe your your boobs are a little bit too small, and you want them to be a little bit more accentuating, accentuated. Um, I also see maybe a family member buried in a uh, I'm going to say sepulcher or a, um, like a family plot or something. Kind of like what I'm seeing in my head is like King Tut, like buried in like a, a tomb or something like that. There, that one particular person is like buried outside of the other people who are buried inside the wall and are encased inside the wall. It's like a family plot, a family. Gosh, it's sepulchral, but it's well, my I want, mausoleum. Is that what you want to call it? Like it's really cold in there, you know, um, almost as if it feels like a cave when you go inside. I see a mother and child together on the other side, Virgo. He went with he went with mom. OK, I, I think a, 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 a mother went uh, with young children still, you know, needing their mother and they and the mother passed away and the, the, the son or the younger, I'm thinking it's the son, um, was younger. He couldn't live without his mother and he possibly passed away maybe through suicide or, or maybe a broken heart. Hmm. I think somebody sits at their loved one's grave or if, or near their loved one's uh, urn where they are have been cremated. They, I mean, it's like you can't get over this this passing, this death. But know that this person is always around you, Earth. Like they're always they're always with you, all right. And when you're at work, you're feeling some energy near you. Like who is this? Maybe by your le right by your left side, but possibly your right side. You look because you feel somebody around you. And nobody's there. That's this person who's on the other side, letting you know that they are always with you. I'm hearing forever in a day. Person possibly loves to dance, loves some fashion. Dressed really, really nice. Possibly have a book full of, of things that they, they've drawn. Like dresses and suits and stuff like that for the fashion where they wanted to be another, is it Chanel? or Well, Coco Chanel or something like that. They appreciated beauty. They appreciated natural beauty. Uh, possibly even a painter, but I'm hearing something more so like fashion in the fashion, the fashion industry. Very, this person was very eccentric, very, very eccentric. Right now. We have here crime solved. Maybe they were taken away and they were a great cook. Okay. Uh, maybe somebody committed, you know, maybe this person, somebody took this person's life here, here. I want to say for you, but 
possibly wanted or had, will this person solve the will the crime ever ever get get solved see we have son so the son is on the other side with the mother i think this is a young son the mother could have been a capricorn or um the child could have been the boy the young young guy could be a um a capricorn i don't think that this this boy wasn't like five or six more like 10 or 11 or, or what do they call tween okay preteen and the letter the letter d i'm hearing doris or david or even davina Davina, maybe a female was named after her father, David, who is Davina or something like that. They love coffee. I'm hearing Jack, the name Jack. Could have been actually the, the Jack of all trades. They were, could have been a carpenter. Uh, they were a builder, they built things, possibly even built the house that, they're, that you possibly live in, that was the family home, okay? Um, I'm saying maybe three, three people are, are buried or are encased in the family plot or mausoleum, sepulcher, whatever you want to call it. And their energy was around when this young, when this young person was, was encased. Okay. And we have someone, like I said, who sits at this, at this, grave site and just watches over somebody they love and they truly truly miss they're watching you know they're missing this person who is encased here okay and they're saying just call my name and i'll come running that's the song i'm going to put it in the comment just call my name um But I'm hearing fried chicken. <laughs> Maybe they like to fry chicken. Maybe they couldn't fry fried fried chicken. Maybe they couldn't cook worth a doggone, you know. And they could have been a great cook. I have a great cook here. Got the son. Uh, there could also be um, a child about to be born. I'm hearing. I was gonna say pass, but I think that this is a child that's about to be born. A little girl. Okay. Like a step. Uh, a stepsister for someone here. Somebody has some beautiful eyes. They love your eyes. They always told you, yeah, you, you take after me, your eyes and, and like very beautiful, like fashion model, like, okay. It could be, you could be a fashion model if you're wanting to, but some sort of energy around an entrepreneur based on uh, the makeup industry, the, the film industry. Um, this person who was on the other side was very, very sharp tongue. Okay, they said what they meant and they meant what they said. They didn't give a care whether it hurt your feelings or not. That was just who they were. And you wish like heck that you could be like them. All right. That you can speak your truth and not worry about the consequences. <laughs> they didn't give a shit. If you didn't like what I said, too bad. All right. This person had a lot going for them. They lived a good life, a full life. Yeah, see, they lived a full, a happy life. They were very, very happy toward the end of their life. They they didn't left this world Virgo with no regrets. Because what they did, they did without question. They didn't they didn't think twice about it. Uh, they didn't let things stop them. They didn't let what people said hold them back. They said, I'm here. I'm in it to win it. And I have won it. Okay. So it's like this person on the other side, they're they're really watching you. They're even leading you to places to go to further yourself to make your dreams come true. But somebody's very, very sad and have not gotten over this person's passing, even though they've been gone possibly a long time. But we do have a young child, a young tween, who's on the other side with their mother. It kind of puts me in the energy of Whitney Houston and her daughter. Her daughter passed away, you know, because she was, well, you know what she was, you know the story. It's not sort of like that, that energy, okay? Something about the eyes, maybe you see him, you could possibly see a father or a male figure, even this young person on the other side. <clears throat> it's like you see this person in a blur or something, or maybe you've seen this person in your dreams. Okay. And I think this person from the other side is, is letting you know, is aware that you see them, but you have to be true. It's like, yeah, yeah, you see me like, duh, you know, and somebody here, like I said, could be with child as well. So we're going to tap into this male's energy here. 
What does he have to say to you? Fell card on the floor. This person left. Wow. Um, this person possibly, this person is a, is a father, okay? Uh, they possibly left really, really quickly when before you were born or, or, or shortly thereafter or when you were very, very young. Uh, they possibly passed away like unexpectedly when you were young, too young to even remember him, all right, to remember them. Um, so there was a bunch of conflict in the family, okay, possibly between your mother and your father, all right, the adult people in the household, a lot of fighting, a lot of arguing, a lot of discontentment, uh, and, and things just happen fast. You know, you happen fast if, you re if you're able to resonate with this part of this reading, you know. Um, but I kind of feel like somebody said, get the hell out and don't come back. You know, leave, leave, leave. You know, there was a bunch of angst, a, a bunch of, of negative and, and angry, angry energy here. OK, just they just couldn't get along to save their lives. But here you are. You're here. All right. So there was some energy around like they're arguing with each other, fighting with each other. You want me gone. I'm gone. But then when I leave, you want to come and get me back. That kind of stuff. You know, you either want me or you don't. OK. I'm hearing if you're thinking about giving up on something or if you're thinking about giving up on someone, try again. Keep trying. Don't give up. There's something or someone in particular that you want to give up on. They're saying don't. Try again. Okay? Try again. What else here for you in this mediumship reading, Earthly? Yeah, I'm definitely hearing that song, Just Call My Name, and I'll Come Running. Message for Virgo, medium shift reading, please, if you need me to tell us. I got the chariot. I actually saw, saw the chariot when I started shuffling this deck. They possibly loved motorcycles. I'm hearing mo motorcycles. <laughs> they loved motorcycles and possibly even golf. They were a golfer. A cop could have been a cop. Like the chips, maybe they love the show back in the day, Chips. Um, California Highway Patrol. <laughs> maybe you live in California, okay? Maybe you got pulled over um, <sighs> for driving under the influence. Are they are D, something about a DWI? Could have been hit. Somebody could have been hit by a motorcycle and paralyzed. Two of Cups. I think when this person passed away, they met the love of their life on the other side. Like their uh, love of life passed away before them. And when, as soon as they uh, transitioned, there was their love to welcome them in on the other side. Yeah, to welcome them in on the other side. You, you get messages. Uh, esoteric esoteric messages. You may even get some experiences with your cell phones or uh, some words or something that you may see that reminds you of them, some songs that you may hear. And some of them were what they call a giant. Maybe they were really, really tall, like abnormally tall. Okay. But they met their love on the other side. It's like the, the person they loved here on earth met them on the other side. And you've been holding on a lot to this death. And that's something that you, that to their passing, it's like you're not able to move on away from it. You're, you're feeling stuck like you can never go. In. It's like you're, you're literally feeling stuck, you know, like you're, it's just physically stuck. You can't move. You don't know what else to do. All right. Uh, you don't know what to do. Not that you don't know what to do. It's like you've accepted this person's passing, but it's just still hard to move on. It's so hard for you to, uh, to move on. I'm hearing the name Kelly. Okay. Kelly, I'm hearing also Kendrick. <laughs> Maybe this is a, a nickname or something. Maybe somebody at when they were young could, could have pronounced potato. Potato, I'm hearing potato. It could be also katano. Katano. Straightforward. Yeah, somebody was very, very straightforward when, with, with what they said, the words that was, were coming out of their mouth. And they didn't they didn't apologize for the way they said things. That was just who they were. And that's something that you have become used to over the years. Okay. 
Maybe they were an over over the road trucker. I'm hearing that song "Keep On Trucking." Uh, the Temptations, I believe. Maybe they were a fan of The Temptations. Did you release doves on their uh, the day that you all had a funeral or a homegoing service for them or a memorial service? Possibly even they loved flowers, but particularly uh, what do you call those flowers? Mm. I can't think. Lotus, lo lotus blossoms. Lotus blossom is what I'm hearing. Somebody here had a very intuitive male figure in their life. This person passed away. And they really did tell you a lot of things to expect in your life, a lot of things that were to what was going to take place in, a, in your life. Uh, you instinct instinctively, there was something about the way you knew that this person was that this person was going to pass away. Some, something about sunflowers as well. Okay, somebody has some big juicy lips, like big juicy lips, and possibly people make fun of their lips, but people would would kill to have those kind of lips. All right, and possibly a lisp. They loved to hike because it could have been a boy scout or a, a boy scout or a, a girl scout, but loved to hike as well. Uh, but there's something else about the face. Loved to wear makeup, play in makeup. Maybe somebody told you you look like John Travolta or maybe they look like John Travolta or something like that. Love the lips, though. They love that maybe they have some nice lips, you have some nice lips, but at some point people made fun of you or they made, were made fun of because of their lips. And you find like feathers, possibly red feathers as well. Um, somebody is, is maybe has a, a child toy that, that maybe you had a child toy when you were younger and that's, that's passed on to your kids, like a, a rocker, a, a horse rocker or something like that, like a rocking horse. I don't know if some, this is going to sound funny, but maybe a child hit you in the head with a stick or something, you know, they didn't, they didn't know any better. I'm going to get some final messages for you, Virgo. In this mediumship reading. Let's get some final messages for Virgo. In their mediumship reading. Yeah. There is a tribute going on with, with someone who is on the other side, a relative who is on the other side. Um, I definitely see this person who you all are, who want to, whoever, whoever resonates with this reading, they are on the other side with somebody they really loved and cared about. Okay. I see maybe there is a tribute coming. Maybe you want to go and celebrate this person. It's something about the bike. Um, maybe getting a... Um, emblem or something with their name on it and having it stuck on the, on your bike or something. Maybe they left you their bike or maybe it, the, the bike was just given to you after this person passed away. Okay. And you're on, it's like, you're on a journey. You want to, you want to move on in your life. You want to, because that's all you think about is this person who is no longer with you. You, you can't understand why this person is no longer in your life or you can't understand why you can't, um, Stop thinking about this person. And it's not you've accepted the death, but it's just hard for you to move on from it. Okay. Um, flowers. I see you around a lot of flowers. Maybe you kept a flower and took it with you. Maybe took it off of the casket and took it with you and have it in a book or have it somewhere. And took also something about a forever rose or something. Maybe there was a name. But I see that, that you're traveling. It's like you're going to like go, maybe you wanted to go cross country uh, traveling on a motorcycle or there's something that they did. That was a dream of theirs. Okay. And you're going to come a long, long way on this journey. You and, and this, whoever this message is, is related to, you're going to do, a, there's going to be a lot of fast movement in your life and you're still thinking about, you're still progressing and moving forward. But, but something about this, that there's something about their death just won't leave you alone. I actually just, yeah, here. It, it just keeps bothering you, okay? You haven't found a way to find complete healing. You've accepted it, but you haven't healed yet, okay? And that's a huge problem for you, Virgo, all right? 
because you don't know how to heal. You don't know how to let this go. Everybody heals in their own way. Okay. Everybody feels certain things. You know, you may have your, you and a family member may be missing the same exact person, but you're taking totally differently and they can't understand you and you can't understand them. Everybody is different, Virgo. Don't, don't be angry and upset with yourself because you can't move on away from this. It, that's, healing from death takes time. Okay. And, I'm, and that's just something that you have to do individually on your own. Okay. I definitely see you moving on. And you're, it's like, you're going to have some stops along the way, some bumps and some hiccups, but it's going to make you out to be a better person. This person could have been a Leo, loves to get flowers, possibly even had a garden of sunflowers. Maybe even won a beauty pageant contest or something. Love color gold. Not necessarily yellow, yellow, but love the color gold. I love gold jewelry or something gold, period. They loved gold. <clears throat> they didn't wear anything fake. They weren't fake. Why would I wear anything fake? Okay. Uh, something about Tang, like the, the Tang drink. Maybe they love Tang, which is weird to me, but they like Tang. And they were hippie, okay? Had a small waist, very, very hippie, very, very shapely, kind of like Marilyn Monroe kind of shape. Or, no, Marilyn Monroe, well, who else? Uh, what's her name? Mae West, something like that. Was very, very shapely, very, very beautiful, all right? I'm even hearing a little Dorothy Dandridge. Like they, they were like, maybe they loved old school movies. Okay. Yeah, I definitely see you struggling with moving on um, from, from her death, from his death, whoever passed away. But I think that you eventually come into your own. But I do see a lot of things changing for you. Uh, possibly they left some jewelry. They left their home. They left some sort of maybe they were the person who had a, had won a beauty contest or some sort of trophy that they left you. Uh, possibly even had a tattoo of a scorpion or a, uh, a snake or something like this. Very, very in tune with their higher self, their spiritual self. All right. Um, someone possibly also has their head tattooed. Well, their face tattooed on their arm or on their chest or something like that. Okay. And they know that they see that from the other side. They see that they see the tribute that you have and that you're thinking about giving to them. They see all of this. They know. All right. Okay, Virgo, this was a mediumship reading. I wanted to maybe try something differently if it works. If, if you're able to if you're able to relate to this reading, let me know. Don't forget that the sale I have going on, $15, 20-minute reading is still going on. I've stretched it for the entire month of March. So March 31st, that would be the sale will end. So get your your um, uh, your orders in. I don't have any orders today. I think I got two who are waiting for readings. I want to get that done so I can get it processed today if you get it to me in a timely manner. All right. Thank you all. I'll talk to you later.